Among the revelations in the Mueller report was the portion in which Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the White House press secretary, admitted to investigators that she had lied to the American people. The incident in question came after the firing of FBI Director James Comey. Sanders, who is paid by the American people as the spokesman for the president, stood at the White House podium and stated that rank and file employees at the FBI had lost confidence in Comey before Donald Trump decided to sack him. She said she had literally spoken with, quote, countless people inside the FBI who told her that. Now, a press secretary lying to the public in order to make the boss's decision seem more popular than it was, it may be textbook propaganda, but it's not exactly illegal. Lying to the special counsel, however, that's a felony. So when Sarah Sanders was asked about the lie that she told at the podium by Robert Mueller's team, she didn't take any chances. She admitted to investigators that her comments were not founded on anything. And she claimed that when she said countless, it was just a slip of the tongue. We'll take a look and decide if this sounds like a slip of the tongue to you. What led you in the White House to believe that uh, he had lost the confidence in the rank and file of the FBI when the acting director says it's exactly the opposite? Well, I can speak to my own personal experience. I've heard from countless uh, members of the FBI that are grateful and thankful for the president's decision. And I think that, um, you know, we may have to agree to disagree. I'm sure that there are some people that are disappointed, but I've certainly heard from uh, a large number of individuals, and that's just myself. And I don't even know that many people in the FBI. Just to follow up on the on the FBI thing and and I'm, I'm not trying to be overly combative here but you said now today and I think you said again yesterday that you personally have talked to countless FBI officials employees since this happened correct I mean Really? Like, I mean, I, I mean, really? I mean, so are we talking between like email, like, text like, messages? Like absolutely. 50, yes. 67. I, I mean, like, look, we're not going to get into a numbers okay. game. I, I mean, I have heard from a large number of individuals that work at the FBI that said that they're very happy with the president's decision. A mere slip of the tongue. So now, well, we know, according to Sanders herself, per the Mueller report, that the story that you just heard her tell in her official capacity as press secretary to cover up for the Comey firing was a lie. But today, Sarah Huckabee Sanders went on a TV tour, and this is what she said. Look, I've acknowledged that I, the word countless uh, was a slip of the tongue, but it's no secret that a number of FBI, uh, both current and former, agreed with the president's decision. I said that it was in the heat of the moment, meaning it wasn't a scripted thing. It was something that I said, um, and which is why that one word uh, has become a big deal. Sarah, hold on a second. The special counsel writes that those comments were not founded on anything. That's what you talked to the special counsel about when you were facing criminal penalties if you didn't tell the truth, but now you're trying to walk away from it. Why can't you acknowledge that what you said no, then was not, not true? I said that the word I used countless, and I also said if you look at what's in quotations for me, it's that, and it's that it was in the heat of the moment, meaning that it wasn't a scripted talking point. I'm sorry that I wasn't a robot like the Democrat Party. Joining me now with his reaction is Bob Garfield, co-host of WNYC's On the Media. And Bob, you're laughing. I mean, she's not a robot, for God's sakes. Uh, you, your thoughts on why, if it's in the Mueller report, it is, it is written, you know, here's, here's the report. It's written in here in black and white. She admitted it to investigators. So why go back to, why go back on that now publicly? <laughs> I mean, um, first of all, we, we have to address the, the fact that it was a slip of the tongue because she has a very slippery tongue. She has, she's got a history of slippage on any number of subjects going back her whole tenure. And she slipped again on this very phrasing twice more, uh, you know, in the ensuing uh, 24 hours. Uh, and then you, your tape didn't play it, uh, all of it. But w when she was cornered, she went to her old Sarah Sanders standby of saying, yeah, but what about Hillary? What about the Democrats? What about Satan? Huh? <laughs> and uh, that is uh, that's really something. But I have to say, Joy, I'm a little puzzled that you're even doing this segment uh, lies from the Trump White House. This is like doing a segment on Planck's constant. There is no news here. <laughs> but I mean, well, the thing is, I guess the news of it, Bob, I would say, is 
So, yes, from the largest inauguration ever, what we started off with Sean Spicer, this president has required his press secretaries to perform a thing that is not about reality, right? And that they have to do that. That is part of their job. But in general, the press secretary is one of the few ways that the public can find out anything that is happening inside the White House. What does it mean in, a, in the bigger picture when you cannot rely on anything that is being said from that podium? Isn't that... Isn't that a problem? Isn't that a crisis in confidence just in general for the public? Well, uh, of course, that's a rhetorical question. <laughs> but we, you know, uh, the fact is that we are in an unusual times. And uh, the, uh, we, we are facing a presidential administration of unprecedented depravity. And, uh, and uh, Sarah Sanders is, is not the disease. She's a symptom of this wasting disease and uh, just a mouthpiece for depravity. And nothing in our history prepared us for this. Even Ron Ziegler, Nixon's press secretary, was relatively speaking a, a straight shooter. Uh, but she's not there to serve the interests of the, of the public. She is there as a political operative to, to spin and lie and change the subject and deflect from the literally thousands of other lies and all sorts of ghastly behavior we've seen under this administration. You mentioned Sean Spicer. He at least seemed embarrassed to be in this role. Yeah. But uh, she, uh, th this woman is an eager beaver. She's all over covering up for, for the... Uh, uh, excesses and worse of, of the Trump regime. And, and, you know, then I guess the question then is thrown back to the media is what should the press do? Because there is this ongoing debate that you mostly see on social media of whether or not the press should even show up to press conferences by these people or invite them on their shows to be interviewed. What do you think? Well, I would I would never have her on my program. There is no point going through the exercise, or there's seldom a point, I would say, of going through the exercise of having a guest who it, you know in advance is going to lie or spin or change the subject or deflect or what have you. It's, uh, it's useless. And, you know, I don't know who it serves except possibly them uh, for whatever they deem to be their political ends. So, no. And as, in the, as to the larger question, no, I'm a news organization. I would take uh, NYU professor Jay Rosen's advice and just send interns. They can do the stenography part of the, the job of being a White House reporter. The rest of the job, getting accountability from the people elected to serve office, that's a, approximately impossible under these circumstances. So uh, there's no point in being there. It's, it's just a charade. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, one of the signs of sort of, you know, autocracy is that you begin to not be able to rely on anything that's coming out of the government. It's all in the service of the president's, you know, message. There, there still has to be a way for journalism to operate in that kind of a, inside of a situation. What would you advise the media to do if they cannot rely on anything that they're being told by the White House or by the attorney general or by the press secretary, et cetera? Yeah, I would do my journalizing uh, outside of the White House press offices. That, that's what I would do. I just get as far away from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue as I could and get on the phone and uh, try to ferret out the truth. You're not going to locate it there. Uh, so, uh, once again, why go through the process that just uh, that just uh, imputes credibility by mm -hmm. the very presence of of the national press? Uh, go somewhere where you can actually locate some facts. Yeah. Well, luckily enough, they don't really do press conferences anymore. So that's not that's not a problem. Uh, Bob Garfield, thank you so much. Have thank a great you, weekend. Joy. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.